Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, second video. So we're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days. For today's second video, day 10, it's going to take us to the 25th of February. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. We're around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And uh, I should get off that for you in a moment. Just say about the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. Um, so check that out if you'd like to uh, do that. We're scaling back videos a little bit at the moment. There's a lot going on. Uh, Gaz, though, it sounds health-wise. Uh, myself, busy of now tested positive for the dreaded blurgy. Uh, so we're fine, you know, I've got very mild symptoms, which hasn't got any symptoms at all. But um but yeah, so so we're resting and uh, and riding it out and uh, and whatnot. But uh it's never rains but it pours, uh, you know, so it's just one of those things having a bad old time of it uh, here and uh we've just gotta do videos where we can. So I'll try and do a six AM upload as normal and um you know, I will try to do ten to fourteen days as well. Uh, depending on how we're feeling, you know, on a day-by-day basis. Uh, the other sort of additional add-on stuff is going to be on the back burner for the time of being. Hopefully, we'll be able to get things back to normal. Uh, ASAP, and I'll keep you all informed. Thank you so much for all of your lovely, lovely messages and comments and uh, and whatnot. So, uh, it's absolutely lovely, you know. It's all so kind all of the time. Thank you so much. Right, well, there's so much going on. Uh, I think I'd better crack on uh, with the video. So, uh, we're going to start off by having a look at weather warnings from UK Met. So, we've got warnings galore tomorrow, uh, amber, and also uh, yellow warnings for uh, wind. This is from Storm Dudley uh, that we've got coming up tomorrow. So, amber warning is in force for parts of Northern England, Northern Ireland, and Southern Southwestern Scotland from 4 pm tomorrow afternoon. Storm Dudley is expected to affect the UK later on Wednesday during a period of very strong winds, very strong and disruptive winds. If that wasn't enough, we have yellow warnings as well on Thursday. That is still in relation to Storm Dudley. That's sort of overnight Wednesday into Thursday. And then there's another yellow warning uh, for Friday, um, which is Storm Eunice. Storm Eunice is like to affect the UK on Friday when it appeared very strong winds. That particularly for England and Wales, a little bit further south and Northern Ireland, a little bit less so uh, for Scotland. So it's all going to be going on. Let's have a look at UKV uh, with the wind gusts at the weather outlook so pretty blowy today but it's going to be tomorrow that the first push of strong winds comes in through the morning in the northern and western part of the country at 70 miles an hour many afternoon things really pick up uh, widespread wind gusts of like 60 to 70 uh, miles an hour across uh, many parts of the country away from northern scotland southwest of scotland 80 to 90 mile an hour gusts that sort of blows itself out uh, and it goes quieter. And then look at these winds coming in on Friday. Really damaging and disruptive winds. Particularly this time further south for Wales. Central southern parts of England. 70, 80 mile an hour gusts there. Widely crossing for the Wales uh, through Friday morning. So it's going to be a wild old time of it. I haven't had much wind this winter. It's been a very quiet anti-cyclonic winter. But things are really picking up uh, in terms of these uh, storms. Dudley and Eunice. So, uh, so just watch for UK Met weather warning. So link is in the description and uh, and keep an eye on that. Uh, right, stratosphere uh, wise. So uh, this is how the temperature current looking at 10 HB over North Pole compared to average. So the grey line is the trend for this time of year for the JMA. The black line is where temperatures currently are. So in terms of stratospheric temperatures, we're still significantly colder than average. We're around minus, uh, around minus 65 there. We should be uh, around minus 55. So we're about 10 degrees colder than average. The ongoing cold stratospheric temperature continues at uh, 10 HB. Go low down. 30 HPA, there it remains extremely cold. Temperature still under minus 80. We should be up here with the grey line somewhere around minus 65. So the very, very cold stratospheric temperatures that we've had, uh, certainly 30 HPA through most of the winter, uh, continue. That's driving the polar vortex, so that is driving the zonality. And at the mild weather that we currently have, these are the these are those cold temperatures, these blue colours here uh, from this chart, from Metro Steel, this is the latest GFS run. So if if we run through this, you can see that uh, these blue colours continue. They do start to weaken a little bit next week, though. So temperature will begin to pick up a little bit next week. Perhaps returning closer to average at 10 HPA in the stratosphere. And there is quite a significant warming being picked up on as we go into the last week of February. Not a sudden stratospheric warming. doesn't quite reach that level. But certainly quite a significant warming of the stratosphere occurs there. 
uh, around um, 24 February. It's more focused like on, on the Atlantic and Scandinavia. So I have to see if that develops into anything. It may not do, um, but uh, that could be like the beginning of the end, perhaps, of this very strong polar water. So that might be enough to get uh, the temperature at 10 HPA back closer to average anyway. Uh, latest temperature forecast, 10 HPA from the east end of for the next six weeks, looks like that. So uh, this is the week, uh, this week, this is like 14th, 21st of February. There is that slight warming, I think, begin to appear in the North Atlantic uh, into towards Scandinavia. Week of the 21st, 28th of February increases that warming significantly uh, on our side of the pole. Um, not sure that's reaching level of a sun stratosphere, but just a general warming of a stratosphere occurring there end of February into early March. That's week three. That's week four. Uh, renewing the warming around green. And that could actually be a sun stratosphere warming there through the, uh, through the uh, second week of March, second 7th to 14th of March. And that goes on to the 14th, 21st of March. I think that could be like a sudden stratospheric warming in that week uh, as we get these blue colours around the mid latitudes. So, um, yeah, you know, we're getting to the end of the season now anyway, and it's getting to March, you, you would expect that we're going to see uh, a warming of the stratosphere. It may uh, have an impact on the weather going into the spring. It might increase the northern blocking signal uh, for spring, but at the moment, those cold stratospheric temperatures continue, and so does zonality. Centering temperatures look like this. CT is currently standing at 6.9. That's around 3 degrees above average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 14th. Our February is going to be a very, very mild, exceptionally mild uh, February. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, so the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average. All London, we're starting off close to average at the moment. We're going to go milder than average uh, in, uh, in a couple of days' time, very significantly so associated with all these storms. Had a bit of a cooling into the end of the week and the weekend. Uh, you know, rather zonal, but some cooler sectors coming through. Later on towards the end of February, beginning of March, there's a bit of a warming trend appearing there, but of course that is extended range. Let's have a look at snow row, see how that's looking. So even for London, there could be a little bit of snow coming up sometime around the 18th or the 19th February. If we go further north, let's say to Birmingham, there it does look a little bit more significant actually. So there is a possibility at the end of the week, around Friday, that we might get a little bit of snow can you believe uh so you know we haven't had much snow this winter and it is possible uh but as uh, storm units in particular pushes through there might be some snow a bit particularly on the northern edge of course it's that track will be critical and we'll know a little bit more later on in the wing temperature anomalies from the 15th 23rd of february are going to be mild average for Ireland, england wales a little bit cold average for scotland precipitation anomalies from the 15th 23rd of february are wetter than normal haven't seen that for a very long time Latest wind from that from earthnoschool.net shows that winds are in from a west or southwest direction today. And of course, that's the reason it's unsettled. And we've got all of these areas of low pressure waiting in the wings in the Atlantic, ready to head in. So this is how the uh, UK Met is looking for midnight on Friday. There's Storm Eunice. Uh, looks quite nasty already. Uh, Storm Eunice lurking to southwest of Ireland. By the time you through to midday, midday on Friday, uh, the low pressure moved into the southern North Sea. Uh, and again, on the northern side of that, there could be some snow uh, with that. Um, that track is going to be a track is going to be important. Into the weekend, uh, wet and windy, really. Low pressure continues to rattle in from off the Atlantic. Maybe signs of a little bit of a rich of the Azores high. By the time we get through to this time uh, next week. But even then, we've still got deep low pressure in the North Atlantic. ICOM, looking like this again, there's Storm Eunice to the southwest at midnight on Friday. Uh, a little bit further southwards with ICOM with Storm Eunice as well, midday on Friday. So that brings a snow risk more towards parts of England and Wales, uh, perhaps. But it could be north or even south of that. But on the northern side of that, low, there could be a little bit of snow. That gets out of the way and into the weekend. We keep it unsettled and quite cold as well. Cold, wet, windy, low pressure continue to push through until the very end when we try and get a bit of a reach from the Azores high and that will bring some milder air up from the southwest. This is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, icon run uh, from the weather outlook. So uh, quite a bit of rain coming and going over the next uh, few days. And then this is uh, uh, Friday, it's midday Friday with Storm Eunice. So severe gales with this, of course, as, as we know, but also heavy rain in the south and the risk of some snow for parts of Wales and Midlands, Northern England and East Anglia, for example. That gets out of way and then we need to more wet and windy weather into uh, the weekend. So certainly looks unsettled 
over the uh, next few days. And as I say, there is a risk of a little bit of snow on the northern edge of Eunice. This is how the GFS Midnight Run is looking. Again, uh, very unsettled over the next few days. Plenty of low pressure coming and going. Quite cool and wet. A little bit of a reach from the Azores high on Tuesday into more southern areas. Turns things a bit milder next week. But all the time, right way up to the end of the GFS midnight run, it's basically low pressure dominated, wrapping in from off the Atlantic and spells of wet and windy weather. This is how the GFS 6Z is uh, looking. Actually, going to go back. This is how the GFS 6Z is looking again. Low pressure uh, with Storm Eunice sweeping through from uh, through Friday and into the weekend. Early next week, quite cold and unsettled. Winds in from the northwest. Lots of low pressure uh, bringing unsettled conditions as well, that gets us to Tuesday next week. Well, we're turning a little bit milder with a ridge from the Azores. Let's push on further. So uh, that little ridge from the Azores doesn't last long. The next low comes in by the 24th February. Turn is wet and windy. And then we just keep the Atlantic onslaught going, really, right way into the extended range with lots and lots of low pressure. Never too far away. So uh, here we go. You know, we're coming up to the end of February now with this forecast. And it's quite cold, unsettled, wet and windy as we get into the beginning of March uh, as well. So so it's an unsettled outlook. You know, definitely the high pressure of doom is a thing of the past. You can say that definitively. It is a much more unsettled outlook. GM, uh, again, looks like this. Very unsettled. There's uh, um, Eunice, you know, a little bit further north of the GM. So that takes snow more towards Scotland on Friday. But looks very wet and windy. Many parts of the country, severe gales as well. Uh, and then into next week, just unsettled until around day 9 and 10 when high pressure begins to start ridging up from the south. Turns us a little bit drier there. The ECM looks like this. Again, it's all much of a muchness. Very unsettled. Very wet and windy all the way up to day 10. We try to get a little bit of a ridge going around day 10, but it doesn't really come to a great deal. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So snow mostly in the north at the moment. Rain in the south and strong winds as well. Into uh, Friday, though, this is Eunice. So wet in the south, significant snow through northern Ireland, northern England and uh, Scotland as well. Remember, the track of Eunice is to be determined, though. It could be further south of that. That will take the snow risk and also the strongest winds further south as well. It will be on the southern side of the low, but we have the strongest winds on the northern side of the low, but we have the greatest risk of snow. So that's all to be firmed up on. Uh, and then just plenty of wet and windy weather coming and going, really, uh, into the weekend. Next week, a little bit drier for a couple of days, but not for long. It stays unsettled, really, all the way up to day 10 with further wintry shower, particularly in northern and western areas. Uh, we haven't got the options on the table within the ECM ensembles uh, today, unfortunately. So we shall just move over to uh, the CFS. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, but please can smash the like button to make sure you're sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Uh, right, finally, uh, CFS V2. So these are 500 millibar heights broken down into weekly periods. The first week period takes from the 15th to 21st of February. The coming week is unsettled with low pressure to the north. High pressure is to the south. Winds are in from the west. That high pressure is quite way south, though, so we are bringing cooler air from the North Atlantic at times. Also very mild air at other times. So, um, so sometimes mild, but sometimes a little bit on the cooler side. Week 2 is uh, 22nd. 28th of February, high pressure ridging up from the south, low pressure being pushed away to the northwest along with the jet stream as well. It turns dry from the south and would be quite mild. Week 3 is going to be the 1st of the 7th of March, low pressure again around Greenland, Iceland, high pressure just to our south. That brings on dry weather and probably quite mild weather as well. Taste of spring and high pressure gets even more encroaching into week four. It's the 8th and 14th of March, with again high pressure building up from the south, lower pressure being pushed away to the northwest, turning dry and will be mild or even very mild with those winds from a southwesterly direction. Proper spring like conditions into early March. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please can you smash your like button. Make sure you're subbed to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Tell your friends about it to subscribe as well. And drop a comment. Let's know about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. And I'm so sorry for all the disruption, you know, with the videos over the past few days. Um, it's just one of those times, you know, uh, all things coming at once and uh, and whatnot. So uh, we'll get through it, though, and uh, and, and we'll be back, back in back to normal as soon as we uh, possibly can. 
Right, so that's it for today's video. So no EC, uh, European Outlaw, you know, uh, the additional stuff, the add-ons, like on oh, a little bit of that burner. Um, and I hope that's okay with everybody. Uh, so tomorrow, hopefully 6 a.m. Uh, upload and a 10 to 14 day. But just watch your space and, and the videos will appear when I am able to do them. You enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And um, that's all for now, though. And thanks for watching.